गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट दी कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्सेस दीज फोर्सेस कम इन टू प्ले ओनली वेन बॉडीज आर इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद ईच अदर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन वन बॉडी इज स्लाइडिंग ओवर एन अदर कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्सेज आर एक्टिंग बिटवीन दैम वेदर दी बॉडीज विल मूव स्लो और फास्ट विल डिपेंड ऑन द कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्सेज लेट एस डिस्कस सम एग्जाम्पल्स students can you push or lift a book lying on a table without touching it no you can't you have to touch it in order to push or lift or pull a book can you lift a bucket of water without holding it again you will say no we have to hold it so for which we have to make contact of our our hand with the handle of the bucket generally to apply a force on an object students your body has to be in contact with the object now the contact may also be with the help of any uh, thing like a stick or a piece of rope for example we push a book with the help of a stick or we can use a pulley which has a rope to lift the bucket of water from the well so students in doing all such activities the question is where does the force come from this force is caused by the action of muscles in our body so the force resulting due to the action of muscles is known as the muscular force or the force applied by the muscles of the body is called muscular force for example students when you kick a football you apply force using the muscles of your leg or uh, also when you lift your school bag then you apply force using the muscles of your arms and you can also feel the strain on your arm muscles as you lift the bag and here in the picture you can see the camel is applying the muscular force to pull a cart which has load on it here in this picture students you can find oxen using muscular force to pull a bullock cart students it is the muscular force that enables us to perform all activities such as movement or even bending of our body you have studied about the digestion of food in your lower classes students and you know very well that in the process of digestion the food gets pushed through the alimentary canal with the help of muscles you also know students that lungs expand and contract while we inhale and exhale air during breathing so this also happens with the help of the muscles since muscular force can be applied only when it is in contact with an object so students it is also called a contact force